Let's talk about annotations and legends in R. I'm going to start with a graph of some more iris data. Here I'm going to plot the sepal lengths on the x-axis versus the petal lengths on the y-axis. And I'm going to color the points by species. It's a good idea to include a legend so that we know which species we're looking at when we see black, red, or green. We can do that with the legend function. The first argument is the location of the legend. You can give it a pair of coordinates, like an x and y value, or if you want it in one of the corners, you can write in something like top left, and it'll put the legend in your top left corner. The next argument is legend. This is the actual text that you want to see. So the text that I want is just gonna be the species names. So every one of these factor levels. Recall that species is a factor. Every one of those factor levels is a string. And so here's our first factor level, here's our second. If we want to see all of them, we can type in levels iris dollar sign species. Cetosa versicolor in virginica. And in fact, this is exactly what I want to plug in to this argument. I just want to have my three species names. The next argument is color. Because I colored these by species, I'm going to color them in the same way in the legend. So by default, one corresponds to black, two is red, and three is green. So the first species, Cetosa, will be black. The red one will be Versicolor. Reginica is green. And the last argument that I need is PCH, which stands for plotting character. I have to tell R that I'm plotting these as open points, which corresponds to a PCH of 1, the default plotting character. So there we go. We've got our legend indicating every species and the color of points corresponding to that species. One thing we might also want to do is do a bit of annotation. So suppose I want to add some text in this corner. I can do that with the text function. The first two arguments are the x and y coordinates of your annotation. So I'm going to have an x coordinate of 7 and maybe a y coordinate of 2.5. And, and the last argument is just going to be what is the text I want to insert. I'll just say this is my text. So both of these functions can have a lot of arguments. It's always a good idea if you're working with a new function to check out the help file. So here's the help file for the legend function and look at all of these arguments that you can specify. The first two are just the x and y coordinates, then the legend, fill, color, and so on, the border around your legend. So there's a lot of options here to work with. 